Hello. Well, as this video title suggests, I'm attempting to grow mushrooms for the second time, it has to be said. For regular viewers, you'll remember a couple of years ago, I did try to grow some button mushrooms with very little success. It was one of those kits that I bought from a garden centre. I think that particular kit had been sat out on the shelf for a couple of years. And uh, yeah, that's the reason why it wasn't a success. That's what I'm blaming it on. That old kit, not my particular failure as a mushroom grower. Anyway, this is part two. So it was my birthday a week ago and a really good friend of mine bought me this mushroom growing kit, ready to grow yellow oyster mushrooms from Merry Hill Mushrooms. It's a far sexier looking kit than the last one I had. As you can see, it's got these cut out holes here, three of them, two on top, one on the front there. And what you're supposed to do is peel away this plastic, give it a spray twice a day, cover it back up, do the same for each hole. And then I think in a couple of weeks, we get oyster mushrooms. It looks like these instructions are fairly idiot proof. However, there is no bigger idiot than myself. Um, if you fancy giving this a go, just pause the video now, read through the instructions, and uh, yeah, contact Merry Hill Mushrooms if you actually want to buy one of these um, kits. But before you do that, let's see how I get on with actually growing some of these oyster mushrooms. You will need a sprayer, as the instructions suggest. I've got this jobby here. It's a bit too big, really. A bit of overkill, but it's all I have. So I'm going to use this. Right, let's start with hole number one. Peel these back. I think that white fuzzy stuff is the mycelium. Let's give it a spray. And that should be that. Holes number two and three next. Okay. That's it. I'm just going to leave this box at the end of my kitchen counter here. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just baby bear porridge here. And hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll start to get some oyster mushrooms. Holy crap, I've grown a big clump of penicillin. Two clumps of penicillin. Look at this stuff, it's amazing. It looks like a really weird bouquet of flowers from an alien planet. Wow. Okay, so this was an easy grow. Just water and wait. And once the mycelium had developed into the small mushroom pins, they exploded into life. This whole process happened really quick, six days. In fact, it was so quick, I had to slow it down, which I don't recommend, because I think it stunted their growth a little. The reason I did this was because my camcorder broke and I had to buy another real quick so I could show you guys the final results here. Now, only two out of the three holes produced mushrooms on the box, but I think the third one will activate itself once I start harvesting the other mushrooms from the other holes.
So there you have it. If you want to give this a go, then get yourself one of these growing kits. As you can see, you won't be disappointed. Well, there you have it. This was a real fun way to grow some mushrooms. If you've got any kids, I'm sure they'd love to see this whole process from start to finish. It might be fun for them to have a go. Okay, that's it for this one. Have a great day. Remember to like the video if you've liked it, comment down below, and please do subscribe to the channel because it's totally free. And until the next one, bye for now.